Welcome everybody to our four Final Fantasy XIV content creation, and we have three guests with us today. We have Dimmo, Drac, and Drac's keyboard as the third <laughs> guest on the show. <laughs> Could have voiced their opinion. Oh, it's all right, man. I just like giving people crap about it. Um, so, Drac, you've been on the show before, so I'm going to introduce you last here. I'm going to introduce our newest guest here, which is Dimmo. A lot of people know you. A lot of people say, hey, man, this guy makes some videos, and I, I laugh sometimes when I watch him. Um, yep. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool demo, right? How I long... mean, I like doing it. <laughs> okay. How long have you been doing it? Um, the first, uh, well, no, that's not even Final Fantasy related. Uh, since 1.0, I made like one video about a glitch I discovered, and it's up there, but... Uh... <laughs> After that, uh, it's been kind of off and on. So, like, uh, the the making a video about a glitch became like your your shooting shooting star point or whatever you would call it. Like your your what do you call that thing? That your boost, your ah, benchmark, benchmark. Yes, yeah, maybe uh, no. That wasn't my most popular. Your rise to frame. Your rise to fame. There we go. The frame. <laughs> your rise to frame. Um, okay. Putting my keyboard away. Now, so. No, okay. like. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what the first video I did was that really set thought got me off and saying, you know, man, I could really do this. Um, no, I just kind of made what I felt like making. And as I figured out how to make more videos and do cooler stuff with them, uh, I just kept doing it. I think maybe the first one I really thought like, man, I'm really good. This was, uh, was the, uh, <laughs> selfie video. Mm. And, uh, I'm looking back at the selfie video and I, I can't even watch it anymore because it's just crap. So I've learned a lot since then. That's um, the curse of <laughs> creating content. It's so bad. Yeah. I got Your you. first ones is just like, man, I've come a long way. I don't want to watch that anymore. Right? Yeah. Off the internet. <laughs> no. Just delete, please. <laughs> just delete. I don't care if it's getting me views still. Just purge it. Yeah. Uh, Drac, man, thank you for coming back on the show again. Uh, My pleasure. It was awesome to have you on here. We talked about casual rating last time you were on and a little mm -hmm. bit about content creation. Uh, I figured we'd just go ahead and have a whole segment to it here and bring on Mr. Dinmo, who you recommended should come on and talk. Yeah, I did. So <laughs> if, he's a disappointment. It's your fault. I, I, I'm willing to take that chance because I'm, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm a total disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we started with the... Uh, uh, I forget how we actually even gotten. No, I started. Uh, it was when the community team for Final Fantasy was looking for uh, new people. That's when Ogmorn and Dancing Fighter got uh, added to the team, but they were still doing the application process. So, so I was in there, and then Denmo made a tweet about, uh, "What do you think? Should I should I go and apply for the uh, a video editing position, or just keep doing what I'm doing?" So I was like, <laughs> "Am I competing with you? Because if I am, I'm just going to stop because I don't think I'm going to win that out because you've been around so much longer." And he was like, no, I, and he was, you know, being all nice and gentlemanly about it. And uh, then we were just like, should we do a collab? I was like, I, I can do it. And that's when we did the, the collaboration where we were trying to surprise Jesse and he was a buzzkill. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing it video uh, or making content for Final Fantasy XIV track? Has, it's been a, quite a while, right? been about two years now. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, so I, I wanted to ask you, I'm going to tell you my impression of you, Demo, because uh, ah. I've heard lots about you before actually doing uh, this whole little conversation where I was meeting you and saying, hey, should you come on the show? So the first time I heard about you was when you were complaining at FanFest. What? F Fan Fest, Final Fantasy, uh, the, the recent one. And I don't know why. Maybe I just wasn't like keeping up to date with like videos and i just been in like under a rock or something doing my own thing, but I didn't like even know. And then like... Someone was like saying something like, "Oh yeah, you should follow this guy on Twitter. He says some funny stuff about Final Fantasy 14." <laughs> what was I complaining about? I can't remember. I can't remember. Maybe it was the lines, the merch. I mean, lines. I, I I do complain a lot. I I'm sorry, guys, but I do. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was the merchandise know. lines. I think it was, or maybe it was like getting in to the event or something like that. Like when it was a whole big mess. I don't know. I mean, they were long, but uh, oh, it was I like had, I had a cheat card. I could get, I could skip the lines because of my girlfriend. So, oh, Sorry. well, okay, fair <laughs> enough. 
so no, there was, there was some sort of information you were giving out. Maybe it was like, hey, the the merchandise line looks like this inside, or something, or like, oh, yeah. like something like that. I don't know. It was Probably. really small. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, you know, I was hanging out with Mr. Happy and everything, and they're like, "Oh, did you go check out Gen- Denmo?" I was like, "Who the fuck is Denmo? <laughs> like, what is this? What is the situation? I've been referred to this guy twice since I've been here." Uh, and then I, uh, I found you, and I've well, like uh, watched your videos, and I thought, oh, "Man, this guy, this guy's kind of funny." Well, that's yeah. cool. I first saw his videos and they were so intimidating because the <laughs> like he is he's really good at the After Effects, and I did that. Uh, for a while but then I was like oh this is cool you know I, I can get back into video editing people are doing this with uh, Final Fantasy and then I saw stuff I was like no nah, I won't do it it's not worth it I, I don't I'm not that good <laughs> so I just no I, After Effects is a fucking beast man I mm, no <laughs> I I it it one like two minutes of a uh, worth of uh, content takes like if you're, you're looking for a specific effect and it takes like maybe like five hours to get like maybe 10 seconds of it to work you know yeah it's I, it's a beast i was hired to do a five minute video and most of it was after effects and it Ooh. took a good month to finish off it yeah. was down to the wire it was awful i have nothing but respect for people who are proficient with it it's just it's something to learn but oh but yeah man oh man what program do you guys use for video editing i use uh sony vegas for most of mine um I want to get good at uh, the Adobe suite Mm -hmm. uh, because I've only dabbled in After Effects, but you can take your video files from After Effects and swap them straight into Premiere. Um, So it's easier that way instead of having to like save the video and then put it into Sony Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, Sony Vegas. I got you. It's It's pretty easy to learn to get into. I did most of my learning from just making videos, so. Drek, uh, I think I've asked this of you, but I'll ask it again. Which which software do you use for video? Yeah, I, I do use Adobe Premiere, okay. and that one's pretty straightforward. I started on Final Cut Pro. That's what I learned on, and mm-hmm. is it's an, most video uh, editing software is the same, going from one to another. It, it, you cut, you paste. It has a few different things here and there, like with the how transitions work and the freedom that you have. And one thing that was, has been bothering me lately, I started doing the swipe transitions in my videos and it would just do with, with a hard edge if there was no blur function. Mm-hmm. So I had to get creative with how to how to do that, but I won't get into it. But I was very happy when I, I was able to find a workaround. Like I use Adobe Premiere and I only use it to edit Mog Talk videos. There's nothing really too much that I add to them. I like have a little intro thing and everything else. So I don't do a lot of work with it. Uh, I used to use Movie Maker for quite a while for a first oh, movie. That was that was my first one. Yeah, my very first video was through Movie Maker. <laughs> it's so bad because like I there's a lot of times where I make the video and like it, for some reason Movie Maker just can't handle it anymore and it just breaks mm-hmm. and then like your progress means absolutely nothing and I spent ten hours making a video and or the or you think the timing is perfect and then you compile the video and the timing is like way off and you have no idea why it's just you yeah. can't get any timing done in that. Yeah, <laughs> that's rough. Uh, but you know, on the earlier topic where I was talking about, hey, I didn't really even know who you were until FanFest. It's kind of funny because like you're not a small figure in the Final Fantasy XIV community. <laughs> I don't think you're a small figure, and so it's interesting to see. I, I, I feel like a small figure. <laughs> Everyone, like all the <laughs> people know who you are, right? A lot of people know who you are, and I like, mean, I, I will admit, like, uh, I, I I can't go a day through doing my dailies where someone in the party chat was like oh my god it's demo <laughs> you know and I'm, it's it's kind of you know it's flattering but at the same time i'm like okay can we just play the game <laughs> i just want to play the game yeah. um i mean it's, but, ca- uh, it's interesting yeah and i mean that issue becomes pretty po- prominent after a while especially like the bigger you get and everything else you probably get it way more than i get it uh, I get it just every once in a while. I'm like, are you the Frosty from Mog Talk? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, I like your stuff. I'm like, cool. End the conversation. <laughs> yeah. We're done. Uh, yeah, that's usually how it goes. But uh, no, like it's the the reason it's so interesting is because there's a lot of people in the Final Fantasy XIV <coughs> community that makes content in some form or fashion that just doesn't really know each other. Uh, yeah. Which kind of brings me into my first question, which I think you talked a little bit about how you guys actually met. Was it just like you just wanted to, you slowly got interested in each other because of respect from each other's work? I mean, what, what caused you to say, hey, I, I'm going to want to work with this guy? I think what uh, happened was I caught sight of Drax videos and I really liked how well they were 
cut together to be something funny and how he can take a raid and like make something funny out of it and uh how his group kind of synergizes and it's just very entertaining to watch and it's one of the first videos i had seen where you know like a, a raid was made to be funny and uh and i ended up following them t on twitter i believe and uh it just went from there and i think he followed me back and i think i i can't remember yeah, because it was, uh, I heard of you, all right, yeah, I heard of you because of uh, Jesse, so Zoltan mm -hmm. from our group, he was like, yeah, Jesse's just linking group. video, link video, link video, <laughs> link video, and like, Venmo was the meme of the group for a good year, and so then all of a sudden, he's like, saying stuff in my stream, and then following me on Twitter, I was like, oh, shit, like, <laughs> I felt like I was really rubbing elbows, because I was still like, what, like 5,000 subs compared to his like 10, 15, whatever he had. Uh, and I was just like, I, 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 I'm not worthy <laughs> of meeting <laughs> these people because they're, they're such big figures. Uh, and then we just got to talking over the thing in the community team and it was like, Hey, let's, uh, let's do a video together. I was like, all right. <laughs> and, uh, I, I think, uh, one, comment that he had uh and i saw it because jesse and he's like no commented on our video oh my god he's on our video <laughs> it's just like these knuckleheads make me want to try rating again i was like shit your videos intimidate the hell out of me <laughs> as far as like editing and all the work that you put into it and so we're just having that little back and forth there and uh then just you know following each other and all that stuff now yeah. one thing i want to say is like i'm always on the lookout for someone who's doing something really cool in the YouTube scene because there's so few content creators out there right now. And uh, uh, one of the more recent ones uh, was Larry Zor. Shout out mm -hmm. to Larry Zor. I know right. you're in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's doing some funny stuff. And uh, I just want to be like, take my position and be as supportive as I can to new people uh, doing cool stuff. And I think, uh, uh, you know, it's just, I just, I just like doing that. <laughs> no, I got you, man. Uh, so actually, I have a, a question about when you guys first got into making videos. Uh, you guys talked a little bit about how you did it, but was there what video was it like? Man, I want to plan a video. I want to just make this mm. work out, and I'm going to build a good video. Like I'm actually going to make mm. effort to make something out of this, and not just like, hey, this kind of came up. Let's just make something real quick. When did you get to that full production mode? The there's several. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> for one uh, uh people remember the uh the gucci uh young money series uh i got with uh them and uh i said hey if you can write me a script uh we can do a production or i don't remember how it started exactly but um she ended up writing me a whole script and i read through it and it was like solid gold mine <laughs> i was just <laughs> laughing all the way through so we worked together with it and we planned out a series and i couldn't Put it all together into one episode so it ended up being a mini series and uh that was a full production that was a uh that was a heft and a half to do because uh of all the uh coordination we had to set up we had to get uh, a full courtroom full of people in there and we had to get uh just all the scenes to plan out and it took almost half a year to get done but uh, I think it was worth it, and I'm still proud of that. The other one um, I ended up doing the storyboard for myself was uh, the uh, – my memory is terrible. Um, <laughs> it's okay. The one where we go into Coil, um, I heard a music video that was recommended to me on uh, – or I heard a, a, a song that was recommended to me on, on – uh, Twitter and someone was like, man, you should do this to coil. And I'm li listening to the song and, and like you're getting a clear picture in my brain about uh, what I should do. And I thought, man, I should really do this. So I, 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 the first time ever I got like, you know, my tablet out and I started drawing a storyboard for it and figuring out how to, you know, get it done. Um, and after I had a storyboard, I shared it with the people who were going to be doing the raid with me. And we ran a, um, we ran a bunch of coil together to uh, get those scenes out and they, it was easier because they had a clear idea of what I was expecting. Um, but uh, there was a whole lot of, uh, 
planning involved that went into that and i'm super proud of that one too even though it's not as popular as some of my other videos right now kind yeah, of about I, that. <laughs> I see a lot of chats actually pretty happy about it too uh so awesome man. Well, that's the thing is that so there are things that you think are just going to be this is epic this is the best <laughs> thing and then yeah. people like the dorkiest thing that you've ever done mm -hmm. and that you're just like but why though yeah there's, <laughs> there's that like uh 30 30 second, 20 second video of the fat chocobo that's still getting views to this day. And it's yeah. like, I, I put more effort into all these other things and sometimes they rant about it, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I remember that was one of our first conversations is like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to do this anymore. I, I put a lot of effort into this thing and it gets like a thousand views and then I make fat chocobos and it's, 20,000 views right off yep. the bat it's just exactly <laughs> it's a lot of like the re the rewatch value that it has and how memey it can be and then mm -hmm. people are sharing it with their friends whereas you see something cool and you share it with a few people but it's just like oh that was cool and exactly. then you, you expect people to be like I'm gonna watch this over and over and over again there's like eh it wasn't as funny as the other ones. It's like, that wasn't the point. <laughs> the whole thing was to be cool. So it's hard to yeah. branch out, I found, uh, doing anything other than if you're an entertainer, you go into the comedy, like at least I consider uh, our channel to be, is it's hard to do anything but. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Drac, when was the point where you're like, all right, we're raiding. I recorded this, and I am definitely going to make a solid video for this. It wasn't just like an afterthought, and you're just like, this is the point. What we're going to do is we're going to raid and make a video. Yeah, it was right before um, it was when T9 was still on content. We were in a group. I was with Jesse and Seabass, and we were all going in. Uh, I mean, we still had a funny group. Uh, not quite as synergized as it, has, it is now, but it was still, you know, people were riffing off each other and it was fun and one of the jokes was <clears throat> uh we we're talking to our main tank which was the raid leader and we we're saying i want or they're saying i, I just want a, a video clip of you getting hit with raven speak and then just an explosion or a squeaky <laughs> toy goes off and so this kept saying i want a video about that i want a video about that and so i was like i, I know how to do that so I just, once I got my rig, like an actual good computer for it, I'd been playing on PS4 or a laptop, um, got an actual tower and I was like, now I can do it. And I just, I went for it and they loved it. And then uh, that was actually, I didn't get to do it um, in that group because we broke up. And then in the following group, I decided we're gonna do it for that T9. So we can at least have that <clears throat> because that's what they'd been asking for for so long. So I got the Raven speak in there and the squeaky toy goes off and uh, the explosions and all that thing, and the, the detonating sounds. And then they were like, you you should throw this up to, to Reddit. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Reddit's mean. <laughs> Reddit is mean. <laughs> Reddit is really, mean to me. Really mean. <laughs> uh, which I'm still really uh, uh, arrogant about the... Uh, because a few of the posts, I was just like, I want to see new jobs in here. What do you think would be cool for new jobs? I'm just trying to get people talking. And one of the things was on the forums actually was, you know, Samurai. And I suggested almost exactly what Samurai is being talked about being now. And people were just like, if it's, if Dark, or it was also Dark Knight, if Dark Knight's not a tank, I'm going to leave the game. Samurai is not going to do anything. It's not going to da 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 da. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want any part of it. And then right. they're like, no, you should you throw it, should throw it up there. And so I was like, all right, I threw it up there, and people liked it. And then they're just like, more. And I was like, okay, and I made another one. They're like, more. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it just became a consistent thing. Yeah, I mean, Reddit has this kind of weird, weird situation to where you can put stuff up there, and people are going to appreciate it, and you might not get a reaction from the people who appreciate it. Though you're not going to see that. You they're just going to watch your video. They might upvote you. Sometimes they'll say something nice. Like the people who are inspired will come out and say something nice. But then there's also the Reddit trolls that do exist on the forum, and they make a point to go out there. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I think I was watching uh, another content creator's uh, very merry. I was watching uh, he, yeah. he put something on Reddit, and so uh, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, this is great. This is great." And the other guy was like, "Yeah, it's not as funny as it should be." You know, he really falling off the board, and just like this real negative stuff. And I'm like. This is just some guy trying to poison things here, trying to poison the water in some way or another, and it's just such an asshole. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody was talking, I, I was browsing the subreddit, and somebody mentioned me and Morph, uh, who does streaming for 
uh, economics in Final Fantasy fourteen, and she does Minecraft and stuff. So uh, somebody was like, "Do you do you know of any uh, like people I can watch?" And I was like, "Oh, these people." And they got downvoted. And then I went down a little further, and there's all this like Mr. Happy hate just out of nowhere. And yeah. it's the the bigger that they <laughs> that, that somebody gets, like they, there's mm-hmm. more to critique. And so yeah. some people are just like, this is my opinion and you should feel bad that I have this opinion because I have it and I feel bad. <laughs> I'm angry about it. So some people are really, I, I don't even want to start some of the stuff that happens with me when I'm doing like a raid show. And like, I, I mentioned something about a skill and I'm like wrong and I just say the wrong thing and I will never hear the end of it from some people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it just yeah. won't. They were just like, you're, you sh- you're, you should be responsible for knowing every single skill and every ability. Right. And if you don't, then you shouldn't be you can't do a podcast you need to stop some of some of the funniest <laughs> ones i get are like uh with the uh, ginyu force video i did <laughs> um oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the only way i could get that glamour to work was if i was running with paladin and yet i would still get like 10 20 comments about uh you know why wasn't it with monks you know because they're all <laughs> they use their hands they don't use swords and shields but i'm like mm-hmm. you know what who cares yeah in the end yeah so. yeah it's always thank you for telling me how to do my job now i'm gonna go do it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the way that i <laughs> that I'm doing. you go make your channel uh yeah. okay so going back to first videos I'm, I'm curious when you made your first video uh i'm assuming it wasn't like an was it an easy task where was it easy because you just didn't know a lot versus now if you make a video is it harder like how's that comparison between the first video and the videos you're making now in difficulty terms uh, do you want to take me to take this first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, it's about the same because when I was first making a video, it was just like I push myself to a point where I feel comfortable showing it and, uh, and then I show it. I don't really care after that. Uh, and nowadays I know I can do better. So I always uh, push myself to a point that I feel comfortable showing it now. So, I know more about how to work things and how to get uh, how to get it looking nicer, how to get it uh, working nicer. So I put about as much effort into it as I did in the first place, just doing more technical things to make it look nicer and turn out nicer. So, mm-hmm. it's, I mean, it's not as unless I'm really trying for like uh, quality that I'm not normally used to. It's uh, it's not, I mean, it's about the same difficulty as the first video I ever made, so. <laughs> okay, so it's just like, it, it stays around the same level for you. Like, it's never gotten harder. You just know right. more. I, I mean, if, 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 if I wanted to make a video that was like the Fat Chocobo video again, I could do that in like 30 minutes flat. But if I want to like make a whole music video about a Fat Chocobo and like have cuts and all these crazy cool things and be it on time with the beat to Snoop Dogg or something like that, um, it would take more time, but I feel like it would be about the same amount of effort as when I first made that video, you know? Okay. You know, you kind of know what I'm saying? No, I, know. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Uh, I'm, I'm five shots in here. I'm sorry. Keep going. Get the six in. Drac, <laughs> Drac what's your thoughts on that? Uh, my videos stay consistent uh, for the most part, just as far as the style, just because that's what people have been wanting, and I've been experimenting with different things. Uh, when I have time, I'll throw up the guides. They're just very simplistic to use. Like, uh, you just had Miss Tech on here, which should go very in depth and talk about different parts, different parts, different parts. But there will be no like straight through kind mm-hmm. of a thing. So then I was like, trying, oh, I don't see that. So I'm going to try that out. Doesn't get as many views. So I, for the most part, I stick to the, the funny raid videos or the dungeon releases and all that stuff. And I try to make it uh, better every time just for myself so i'm improving my avatars there there are things to improve above the standard because it's happening over and over yeah your avatars have improved a lot yeah (laughs) thank you archie archie in the uh chat right now say hi to everybody uh (laughs) she's been doing amazing work for me um back when i was looking for an artist and that this is where my videos are now is where i always envisioned them to be but i didn't have the resources i didn't have the money to pay somebody i didn't have the uh notoriety to be like, hey, somebody help me out. Uh, but as you know, things got more popular and I started getting some money from YouTube. I was mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna throw this back out and invest it in making the product that I have better. So I, I make a lot more work for myself. So they, they get longer, not necessarily harder. Okay. Uh, giggity. Yep. <laughs> and they, uh, 
so I've got different faces and I'm all, everybody, I'm just like, here's a different face that I want to make this, this expression. And I mean, she's just been one extremely fast, uh, like a day or two and I'll have 10 faces or 10 new reworks or characters. Uh, and like, she's just amazing with it. And, uh, uh, sorry, I'm reading her stumble her over her keyboard right now. <laughs> uh, and just very good with the critiques. So then somebody that I can keep going back to, cause I've had, I had other people that were just like, you need to chill with your critiques. You're getting too detailed. This is taking too much time. And she's just like, Oh, you want to do it like this? Oh, how about like this picture? Is this all right? And she's like, boom, boom, boom. I was just like, yeah, this is, this is perfect. So, uh, I compensate her well. Uh, she does a great job. She stayed, has stayed on my team. Uh, the more this grows, the more I want to keep her. Uh-huh. And the more I've been trying to grow and get more people on, uh, like with the, I commissioned a new outro from the K animations. Uh, if you need any of their links and stuff, it's at the end of my videos. I give them special credits. Mercado sound gave me the tune at the end. And it's just stuff that I'm, I, I see other YouTubers doing and I want to emulate the quality. I, I try not to mimic as much, but you see somebody and it inspires you. And so then you want to continue to, Oh, that works. I'm going to try and apply it to what I'm doing here. And so I always have somebody else to look look to and try and hit that standard and, and keep going up. So it takes a long time. The, the nature of my videos always takes a long time because we've got hours and hours and hours of gameplay to go through because braid mm-hmm. and progression and stuff. But uh, it, it's gotten easier at the same time because I've gotten used to it. So I, I, I know the basic process. I find ways to streamline it and I'm always finding shortcuts and things to make a longer process a little bit less <laughs> long yeah, and you tedious. Find, you find your tricks and uh, right. gimmicks to get mm-hmm. it to work for you, yeah. Okay, so in the end, you guys are putting pretty much full, the same amount of effort, full effort into these things, but just it gets easier and you have more tools, but you're still going to put the same amount of effort learning more and trying to build and keep going. Right, and the more I believe in how the video will turn out, like if it's a really, really good idea, the more I spend time on it and the more I like spend sleepless nights on it. And it's just like, you know, I lose like five hours to Sony Vegas if I'm working on something that I love, you know. Mm-hmm. So. It's just that that tunnel vision that you get when you're just like, I know this is going to be amazing. Yeah. And like, and like, it feels like five minutes later, but it's actually like three o'clock in the morning and you're like, gosh, oh, yeah, shit, why is the sun up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh okay so uh another question here uh final fantasy 14 has a couple of neat features in it especially the g pose feature right do you oh, feel like <laughs> <laughs> do you guys feel like uh final fantasy 14 is a very accommodating uh game for people who want to make content for it uh, if you're making screenshots <laughs> oh, okay Fair uh g pose is an amazing feature for making screenshots it's uh if you're doing uh a specific emote it's okay for that. Uh, I wish, and I, I've said this many times before on Twitter, but I wish there was a uh, free camera mode where you could just float around areas and watch people doing what they do um, mm-hmm. instead of having to like wait on iCam to be uh, nice to you or to wait on or to uh, get GPO set up in a very specific way with specific people. Mm-hmm. But uh, GPO is a very nice addition nonetheless. I love it to death. Uh, it's got a lot of awesome features on there, um, and I don't have to, I don't have to use reshade as much. I used to use reshade a whole lot on some of my videos, and uh, I even posted a tutorial about it, and I haven't used it since then. So people are asking me questions about reshade, and it's like, how do you get to this work? I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I've been using G Post. So uh, no, uh, I love G Post, and I hope they keep adding uh, cool stuff to it. Um, and okay. I've been very vocal about what I'd like to see on it. Uh, so. Drac, uh, what's your opinions on Final Fantasy XIV as a source for making content versus like other sources like maybe WoW or something else? Do you feel like Final Fantasy XIV goes a little bit more into supporting content creators like that? or uh, Community-wise, yes. The game itself is still relatively small compared to other things that are out there. You know, you have Overwatch that has a very good rewatch value because every game is different. You can do different things with it. Mm-hmm. Um, you have... Uh, wow, that has a much larger following. Uh, I, I think Final Fantasy XIV will get to that point. Uh, the game doesn't really accommodate any more or less than any other game, though. Um, it's it, The community is the community, and that's what makes it possible, is that they're not as 
typically you, you have your elitists and your people that are just want to watch the world burn. But then you've got the people who just enjoy the game. They like having fun. They like watching other people have fun. And that makes it easy. Uh, the fact that they allow people to use the video, um, you know, all, uh, while they do make the conjecture that you have to, you know, do the proper, this is Final Fantasy, this is from the music, this is all the legal information and stuff, which I just saw. So now I'm editing, at, like adding it to all of my uh, video info. I'm like, don't take them down. I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> like, you know which video or which game this is. I swear. That, that was a real fear for me for like a year or so. So it's their MLA agreement is, is weird. And, <laughs> I, was, I was so worried that I couldn't use, like the reason I started using my own music or not my own music, but the royalty free music is because I thought that some wording or something that was thrown up on Reddit, that was kind of like a fear post. just like, they're going to come after you if you use their music. And I was like, Oh shit. And so I went and I like, I take, I never stream with music on if I'm using it for a video. Uh, so it's all just very boring. <laughs> I was just talking and stuff. But uh, then I, you know, watch stuff like very merry and he has the, music in the background and he's still doing stuff. So I was like, oh, so it must be okay to an extent. And then I read further legal information and it was a lot better, mm -hmm. uh, a lot less stressful. Uh, and I think, I mean, I'm hoping for the most part that they encourage it. Uh, they're not gonna pull a Nintendo and start stripping everybody's videos down. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I, I talked to the community team uh, and they are just like, yeah, we watch your videos. Uh, I was like, oh, awesome. And so like they're, they're all about it you know they're they're not the forum mod team that will ban you for breathing uh too fast uh yeah. and uh, funny story <laughs> <laughs> now demo do you have, how, how often do you post on the forums over there on the official forums i don't because <laughs> i've been banned <laughs> uh yeah yeah it's like almost a badge of honor at this point for some Isn't people it? Uh, I mean, it just is what it is, and I don't know why it completely it's moderated the way it is. Uh, I would love to get more information on that and like just have a sit down. Maybe that's like my next set of questions will be about the official form uh, that I send out to uh, Yoshida. Wow, that's a good motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. <laughs> it's gotten this? hot here, so I'm keeping the window open <laughs> so yeah. keep air flowing. It's still, <laughs> still light out where you're at, so. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Sort of. On the West Coast. Yeah. Okay. So next question I got here for you guys is if someone's going into content creation uh, and someone's like, man, I want to get into this. Is there any tips you can give me to make my life not horrible going into making this? Is there something I could just, a really obvious mistake that I can avoid making? My, get an, get an oh. SSD. Okay. Um, yeah. Make stuff that is fun for you to make don't just make something because something else is making it uh if it's not fun for you to make don't make it um that's fair other than that uh and ssd is more because of video processing and yeah it's just so much easier to work with files because it can read and write files easier and you're dealing with large files when you're working with video so mm -hmm. okay track what kind of opinion or not opinion sorry what kind of advice <laughs> would you give yeah, I, more or less the same thing. Don't try and copy people. Um, if you see something and it inspires you, then you can take bits of that and apply it to something that you think is funny. You should always have the vision already there uh, mm -hmm. for your videos. You shouldn't have to force yourself to make it. Uh, I contradict that a little bit because the videos that I do, they're not planned out. They're just our group and just showing us in that natural environment. Uh, so, uh, I, I, for the like T9 video that I started with, I knew how I wanted that to look because I knew the jokes that I was going for, <clears throat> but the other fights we go in blind. So I don't know how I'm going to piece it all together. So I'm always like, really like, ah, this one's going to suck. I'm not going to, I don't know how it's going to end up. I don't know. This isn't that great. And then at the end of it is when I get that tunnel vision. I'm like, this is almost done. I'm getting this out tonight. And then, you know, 7am and I'm hitting <laughs> upload and I'm just like, Babe, look over this and find all the mistakes I made. I'm going to bed because <laughs> I always make like one or two. And But it's it's really all about yeah, do what's fun for you. If you don't think it's funny, if you don't enjoy it, then don't do it. Uh, I mean, unless you have a really high demand and you want to throw people a bone for that for like an, a fan appreciation when you get to a certain point, 
then go for it. But when you're starting out, just that's, that's always my philosophy. People say, Oh, put this in the video, put that in the video. I'm like, if I think it's funny, I will, <laughs> but I'm not going to put something in the video because people tell me to do it. And I'm not going to yeah. change my style get, because people tell me to do it. Right. I get suggestions all the time. It's like, you should do this music with like a Lollafell and do this. And I'm like, cool. Thanks for the info. And And then I'm like, Tell him to go make the video. <laughs> yeah. Tell him to go I'm make not the gonna video. Do, I'm not going to do a Linkin Park video about <laughs> Lala Fells charging up, you know, doing DBZ stuff. Um, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if it's, if it's a cool suggestion and it's interesting to me, because I take suggestions all the time, like my Cold Hearts video was based on a suggestion from someone on Twitter. And if you have a script that you like and is really funny, I mean, show it to me and I would love to take a look at it and give you advice and maybe even – make something out of it because i did that with uh young money um with gucci who is an amazing person too um but yeah so long as it's something that uh you like and you think is funny then just go with it all right excellent advice guys um all right and so we got one more question here before we hit uh well shit we're, we're running on time but i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give a question here and then we're gonna try to hit a few, few viewer questions um what's in is there anything in store in the future for you guys that people need to be looking for um i'm at, i i'm in the process of working on something really stupid uh <laughs> and it's all thanks to the songbird and i i hope you guys like it uh but uh it's been uh, kind of delayed because i've been uh playing the uh, switch so uh <laughs> breath of the wild has been taking up all my time it's an amazing game i wish i could stream it uh but uh when i'm not doing that and i'm not doing my job uh i will try to get that out for you guys so uh my my videos are very intermittent and it's all because i do it based on how i feel and whether or not i want to push a video out and sometimes i feel like that's that's a bad thing because a lot of people put out regular videos and people love regular content and I'm just not a very regular guy. So I gotcha. <laughs> All right. Drac. Uh, the a 12 video. We beat that a couple weeks ago, right before 3.55 hit. And we were really excited for that. Uh, I still almost cry every time I, I watch our nerd scream at the end. Cause like it was so, emotional oh, like still oh. on a11s and we just can't get past the uh i it, it's it's a tough one <laughs> don't tell me the I first know number you feel. Feel. oh man uh. <laughs> but uh i'm getting that out and then once i'm done with that is when i'm i want to i really want to get out the spoof guides for classes i know that <laughs> people have beaten me to the punch on it but like it was inspired by um one the hive minded uh or the hive leader did a guide to healers and so it's kind of like rep or in that style but for final fantasy stuff and then uh cory asked us from uh our group was triggering the shit out of jesse because he's like look at me on black mage he's like look at me ice mage and he's spamming blizzard <laughs> 2 only in dungeon he's like no it's and he's like just doing his normal bait like no, it's I, I have unlimited mana. This is clearly the best way. And it's like, if you do that again, I'm never running a dungeon with you ever. <laughs> and so like, it was, I was like, we got to do a video where it's just us doing those horrible, horrible guides. And uh, I know Very Mary has out, uh, some out there. I've been watching his, so I'm not like doing any of his jokes. And people are like, right. hey, you just, I'm like, no, I'm not trying to. It's just, I want to do it. I want to do yeah. this one. I know somebody else is there. It's not a, my niche, but it's something that I think is funny. Yeah, yeah if you're inspired to do it and you really want to do yeah. it, why not? I mean, <clears throat> just don't take his video and be like, tell every single exact joke that he does and be like, yeah, no, no I made it. But, he hasn't done a monk one yet that I've seen, so I'm still safe, and that's the first one that I want to do. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's the kind of thing that I want to do. Uh, I'd like to do much larger productions with people. I talked to them a long time ago mm -hmm. about doing stuff like a, a Final Fantasy 14 abridged. Uh, and we talked oh. about like this whole thing uh, about how it would go, but like the not having the right cameras and stuff. And I don't have the vision or the expertise to get the shots and the angles and the people talking and stuff like that. And, so I, was and like, I personally don't have the, uh, <clears throat> the script writing know how I, I, I just put stuff together and on a whim. So it's like, uh, if you're a funny guy and you feel like you're a funny guy, you know, write a script up for something cool and, and awesome. I mean, 
I would love to shoot it for you. So yeah. we'll, we'll keep talking about it. Cause it's, it's yeah. one of those things that I, what we like brainstormed was, so <laughs> I was laugh like rolling in my chair. <laughs> this was what we came up with. <laughs> oh, it was really good. Anyway. Yeah. That, that's the kind of stuff that I want to do that I want to be able to do. And, and um, like Drac was like, I did a, uh, an idea where, uh, and I'm probably never going to do it, but, uh, you know, the FUN fun song. Yeah. Yeah. From, from SpongeBob. You still, you still Track have my, was the only one who would sing for me. I sent <sighs> it out to other people. and I was like, Hey, I need you to sing the fun song. Uh, but it's like final fantasy job related. And Drac was the only one who sent me a reply back on that one. And I, I just was... canned the idea because nobody really like responded. Uh, it's back so fun me. though like it was it was really <laughs> well it was it was good jokes in there and i was like i can't <laughs> wait for this to come out and then i was like how's that coming and he was like nobody else didn't he i was like what yeah <laughs> bunch oh. of nancy's <laughs> bunch of nancy <laughs> I, I still have that sound file somewhere in my computer so <laughs> i think we'll people would be interested in seeing that or <clears throat> listening to it uh okay i got some questions here uh, and we'll just shoot through these larry's are uh, what was your favorite video to work on? I have to think about that. Drac, do you know? Uh, it would still probably be my A9 because that's the one that I like, I knew, uh, would be funny, but I've also like, there have, everyone has like a key joke in there. Uh, and I, I just, I look forward to the reactions of people so much especially in the regroup, I, I keep them in the dark the entire time. Uh, I'll, I'll like, oh, remember this happened and then this happened. And then I'll do uh, the things like, I, I really wanted to do an, like an image in heat when uh, we, I get mowed down again by A10, uh, <laughs> Savage or killed again. Uh, but I, I did another sad music. So I, I like the different means and stuff. But A9, I just, I had that idea. And like Denmo said, when you have that vision, that idea, you just go for it. There's no stopping you. You can you can focus on that and nothing else. You'll go without eating uh, <laughs> go without until you get it done. Them. It's just like one more frame, one more frame, one more cut. I'm just got to do this. I just got to add that in. Why is the sun up? It's okay. Why am I <laughs> Why am I passing out? It's all right. I can keep going. And then yeah, that's one thing I love about video editing. Um, for me, uh, I guess cold hearts because. I just had an idea and it worked out so well and I just love the effects that I put into it. And it was a, it was a labor of love really. Um, just a lot of little nitty gritty things in there that uh, took forever to do in after effects. And the, while it was hard work for me, the effect of it was uh, something that I'm very proud of. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Corso <laughs> here has a question. Uh, what video do you feel like took the most effort to actually make? Took the most work? Coiled hearts. Coiled hearts? Are we going to go? I'll believe yeah. that. <laughs> I, I saw it and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Good uh, on you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Would it be T9 again? No, that one actually was pretty straightforward because I didn't have nearly as many assets to work with. Mm. <laughs> I didn't have as many toys to throw in there. Uh Probably the latest one, A11, just the amount of time. A12 is definitely the most time intensive. Uh, you know, I, I, I ended up, like I go through the whole bit of footage. I posted it to like Twitter. I had like 14 hours of footage to go through. And so I got through that <laughs> footage. Those. And then, I yeah, I had uh, 30 minutes left. And then I finally whittled it down to like 22 minutes. <laughs> so I've got my work cut out for me there. Uh, I think it's just more of the time that it takes to do the video, uh, nothing's really been hard necessarily. So I, I, that's my experience with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got one more question here we'll ask before we finish up. Uh, question for Demo. Uh, I guess this would be, oh yeah, question for Demo. Uh, how difficult <laughs> is it to get a group of people together for a video? Is it like herding cats? And this is from Archie. A good question. Um, it all depends on the idea behind it and if you can sell it is what I found. I've been hurting people since uh, 1.0 beta doing the Lollafell March. And I tried to do like two or three more. And 
it just got less and less people each time because there's some people who would be like, Oh, we've done that before. I don't want to do it again. You know, um, if you can sell them on the idea, if you can get them together and say, Hey, I'm doing a video where everyone's going to spell out, send nudes with their <laughs> bodies on the, on the floor, then everybody just kind of jumps in on it, you know, <laughs> or, and if it's like, Hey, I'm going to get a bunch of, everybody let's get together and uh do a bunch of fat chocobos um out inside idle shire and let's make a tower you know the first time sure great you know everyone wants to do it uh the second time it's like eh, uh, i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> so it's it's all about is it something fun for them to do and if it's not if you can't sell them on the idea then they're not going to respond to that um and especially even if you get a whole bunch of people together, you're still going to get that one or two like trolls. It's like you've seen in my fat chocobo video. Um, there's that, that one random fucking airship in the line of the fat chocobos going across to make a bridge. And it's like, I remember that guy specifically because he was in shout and everyone was complaining about him because he was like trying to be a troll because he didn't have a fat chocobo. Um, so you're, you're just, you're just going to get those guys. Um, and it's just going to happen and you just got to deal with that. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, if you're doing like, it, it's a lot easier now with like G pose and stuff like that, because you can, uh, you don't have to do get the timing down. You can just like type in G pose and like if all the timing is all kind of synced up kind of sometimes, I don't know. I'm having some work on it, <laughs> um, but usually it's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, it, if, the, if it's something that they, want to do and they can see what you're trying to do then usually they'll get in on it so all right great answer there i do feel like we're already two minutes over time so i'm gonna have to start closing <laughs> Sorry, up right. no it's okay no i start late anyways <laughs> uh but yeah guys i really appreciate you coming on the show drac it's been a pleasure to have you on here again uh you're an awesome guy one day appreciate it anytime we'll, yeah you know one day we'll go out and we'll get beers or something man <laughs> absolutely right. well, we'll make it happen uh demo thank you so much for coming on the show uh i know this was the first show you came on i've been trying <laughs> to get you on the show way before then but i was like where's the right time to do it and everything else and then it's like <laughs> boom here we go we got it this wasn't so bad was it no it's fun <laughs> okay there you go um all right guys we are going to do this next segment coming up soon and i believe we have uh i think it is goka and kyo from elysium coming on to talk about embettering yourself as a player and trying to figure out what needs to happen and that will have a billion and different topics over the course of 50 minutes that we're going to try oh, wait, to when's that happening i need no reason just <laughs> no in 10 minutes is what <laughs> yeah but uh might need that <laughs> <laughs> You give it to uh, Corey and you know, let's give it, let him have it. He's already perfect. There's oh. no telling him otherwise. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for coming on. Let's do our awkward wave and bye here. Bye, guys. We'll be back here, or I'll be back here in about 10 minutes. Bye.